There's a post-it note stuck on my computer that simply reads, what are my customers doing right now? The purpose it serves is to remind me that you know, the problem that I'm here to solve for my clients isn't always the most pressing challenge that's going on for them in the moment, which is really handy when you're thinking about what stories to share and making sure all that lovely time and effort that you put into creating content doesn't go to waste. Hello, I'm Hilary Solzman, and this is The Everyday Storyteller, a daily podcast for women with something to say. Most of my customers fall into the 40 to 50 plus age bracket. This means that many of them, if they have families, have children starting university. So come September, October, I can bet my favourite knickers that their mind won't be on working on their voice or developing their brand story. It will be how to deal with the fact that a child is no longer a child and potentially going off into the world alone. So hearing me hark on about investing in themselves, it's not really going to hit that well, is it? But giving them a quick fix to something that's been on their to-do list for ages, like, I don't know, getting their web copy updated, might be just the ticket they need to take away a bit of the stress and give them the space to deal with the emotional change of their child leaving home. So here's a job for today. Ask yourself, what are your customers doing right now? Maybe they're starting to pull plans together for 2024. Or just trying to figure out who's cooking Christmas lunch this year. Perhaps they're needing a shake-up at home or just a moment to themselves to breathe and deal with the fact that half-term is only just around the corner. Oh my God, I know. Your reason for being, the problem you solve for your customers with the product or service you sell, isn't always the easiest thing to talk about. If those customers are stressed if their time and their headspace is so full. So why not make it easier for them by giving them a quick fix? Take my talented, wonderful friend Belinda at Pothys. She got a huge rush on sales for her Cozy Majig wearable hot water bottle covers when she posted about different ways for students to cut costs at university. Not her usual pitch in the slightest, but perfectly timed for what her customers were doing and thinking about in that moment. Give it a go yourself and do let me know how you get on. You can leave a comment or email me. I always love to hear from you. My contact details are all in the show notes. Thanks for listening.